hello welcome back all today in this session we are going to discuss regarding decimal accuracy and decimal precision in Udo so if I open the sales application and if I open any of the quotations so here you can see the product price is coming with three decimal places whereas the subtotal is coming with two decimal places so you might be thinking or you might have already think how this is handled in Odoo or how it is managed in Odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition and we will be discussing about these points how the decimal precision is managed in Odoo so it is mainly done using the monetary budget which is related with the currency and using decimal precision in Odoo so what we will be doing in this video is first of all we will be discussing why the unit price is coming with three decimal places whereas the subtotal and the total amount of the sale order is coming with two digits and then we will be showing how we can achieve the same inside the OM hospital module which is our custom module so first of all the reason behind three decimal places for the unit price is because the decimal accuracy set for the product price is three so currently in my DB the debug mode is activated and I'll navigate to settings technical and if you scroll down you will see a menu called decimal accuracy so inside database structure you can see we have got a menu called decimal accuracy and opening that you can see we have got some records over here there is by default around six records in the database which is added from different modules so it may vary based on the number of installed modules in your database and here you can see we have got a record with name product price and its digits is set as 3 so this is responsible for the unit price coming with 3 digits so let me duplicate this tab and I'll open the sales order in this tab so currently we have unit price coming with 3 digits and let me edit here this editable you can click and open the record click on edit button and if I change it back to 2 click on save the decimal yeah Odo says you cannot decrease the number of digits because it may cause some after effect that is if you make it already three then you cannot reduce because it may cause an error in accounting entries but you can increase so I'll put four and if I click on save we are not decreasing I have just increased one more position that is four digits and if I refresh the screen so before refreshing it was three now you can see it is coming with four digits so the unit price is handled with the decimal accuracy product price so if you check this field definition so if you go to the sales module so this is the Odo source code and this is add-ons so I'll just navigate to Odo sales module so if I go to the sales application and here we have the models folder sale order dot py and if I search for the price unit field which is that field name price unit equal to field dot I cannot file yeah it is maybe in sale order yeah you can see it's in sale order line py file because it's in order line and here you can see along with field definition digits is given as product price which is digits equal to product price is digits will compute the number of digits configured for this decimal precision product price which is this record so it will take the configured precision from here so that's why it is coming as four digits so i hope you understood this scenario now you think why the subtotal is coming with two digits so if we check the subtotal so if we check the subtotal price subtotal you cannot see a digits there is nothing said for this field as there is no digits set for this field it will be taking the rounding from the currency so if I come back to the UI here you can see the currency is dollar now what we have to do we have to navigate to currency master so from this tab I'll go to accounting invoicing configuration and here we have the currencies I'll open that here we have USD I'll open click on edit and here you can see the decimal places for the currency is set as 2 in Udo 
for this usd i'm saying i need decimal places too and if i need to increase so this field is not editable it is a computed field you can adjust as follows i'll put see now you can see i have moved the one to next position and decimal places has been changed to three click on save so we have changed for the usd currency decimal places to three and if you refresh the screen you can see subtotal is coming with three decimal places as well as the total so this is how the decimal precision or decimal accuracy is controlled in Udo, either from the currency or from the decimal precision just activate debug mode settings technical database structure decimal accuracy open the corresponding record change the precision to the required that the one you need so i hope you get general idea now what we will be doing we'll be seeing how we can apply the same inside our hospital management module so if i go to the hospital management module we have appointments i'll open an appointment edit and under the pharmacy menu we have got this option so here currently you can see the price is coming as for three digits subtotal is coming as three digits and total is also coming as three digits because for the currency usd we have changed its decimal to three and all these are monetary fields as it is monetary fields it's respecting the currency and getting the digits from the currency now let's see how we can make this is product price so we can keep the standard so for the product price we can do what thing we can try to respect the decimal accuracy of the product price so let's see how we can make this price inside the pharmacy line as four digits based on the product price decimal accuracy so what i have to do is that simply copy this digits equal to product price i'll copy it from here and i'll navigate to our appointment sorry hospital module so this is our custom add-on om hospital models folder appointment dot py file and if you check this is the one to many that we are seeing over here this is the one to many and this is that model and here we have the price unit field so along with price unit field i will add digits equal to product price so i'm adding this saying to the system that i have to respect decimal accuracy with the name product price so let's restart and let's upgrade the module to see the difference so let me go to the apps menu and let me upgrade om hospital module so the module is getting upgraded and all good it's upgraded and if i go to the appointments and i'll open the first one pharmacy and you can see the price is still coming as three digits so you may think why it is not changing based on the this specified decimal accuracy so to confirm if you come back to the settings technical database structure decimal accuracy product price is four but still it is giving as three digits so we have to go to the corresponding form view so let me go to the appointments view appointment view dot xml and here we have the price unit field and here we have set widget monetary options currency field as currency and we have one more attribute that we have to pass so i remember its name is change field currency field or change fields so let me confirm that name Let's search inside xml there is one more attribute that we have to pass field size something like that we have to pass so let me copy this options currency field i put a comma yeah field digits true so we have to pass this attribute also so i'll copy this and i will add it along with the currency field option so simply i have added fields digits equal to true here and i'll no need to restart as it is xml change just upgrade your module so i'll go to the apps menu and i will upgrade om hospital module so the module is getting upgraded and if i come back to the appointments op0032 click on edit pharmacy and you can see the price has been changed to four digits initially it was three 
and now it has been changed to four digits so this is how the working of decimal accuracy or decimal precision in Uru. so i hope you understood the scenario if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions please let us know as a comment directly under the video and if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by having a like comment and share so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you